Just last week, when Kansas City chef heard some very exciting news, Chef Colby Geralds from Blue Stem and Rye is once again nominated for Best Chef Midwest by the James Beard Foundation. You're an old hat at this. I, it's getting that way, yeah. It's, it's time for the win, right? <laughs> what hope. an honor no, it's, to be even be nominated. No, they always amazing. say that. It is. I mean, it, it's it's when you don't get nominated. You know, you always hope to win, but when you don't get nominated, that means a lot more. So we're yes, excited we're for you. We're Thank very, you very, very proud of you. Okay, so let's get cooking. What are we making today? All right. Well, I always try to do a little bit of education when I do this. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to blanch a little bit of asparagus, and then we're going to make um, uh, a fresh spring salad with fava beans and asparagus. Ooh, I, sounds yeah, delicious. Last time I cooked shrimp and grits, and this is a lot healthier than that. So <laughs> if you Thank want. Thank you for that. And it's perfect for spring. It is. It's all these vegetables are coming on right now. Obviously, here with the snow, you wouldn't know that, but they actually are coming on. <laughs> they so, are, they are. you want to help me today? Do sure. Some, all right, we're going to just peel a little bit of this asparagus really quick okay. right here. And this is what's called a Y peeler. So, when you do it, you want to drag it behind you like that. So, I'll let you do that. And then I'm going to okay. blanch some peeled asparagus that we have already. All right. One of the things you want to remember when you, when you have asparagus and uh, you want to uh, Cut it. You can always tell by the way it breaks. When you break it like that, then you've cut off all the woody, woody parts of the asparagus. So. so don't cut it. Just break it. Just break it. Fine. All right. And we're gonna. We got a little bit of a uh, of salted water. Whenever you do uh, a blanch vegetables, you want your water to almost taste like um, like seawater. That's when you know it's salty enough. And just see how you doing there. You I'm not there? doing very good. <laughs> I'm really not. That's why I'm not. I know for it's hard. You got. You got. You got to. Got to get after it. So. Okay. Now about the fava beans. How did you? Prepare those. These are uh, just some fava beans. They actually come in a big hole, and mm -hmm. you peel them. You have to peel them twice. Okay. They have a second skin on the outside of them. Um, so they're actually uh, like if you had green peas, you know, mm -hmm. like spring peas. Mm -hmm. This is what's inside that pea, but this is a fava bean, so it's it's similar but different at the same time. Okay. So whenever you think about fava beans, kind of think of spring peas. So we're getting our okay. vegetables uh, blanched right here. Our mm -hmm. asparagus looks wonderful. Yes. Nice I, I, I love this this time of the year because you know we get all these spring vegetables and it's so bright and so good for you and during the during the winter we're you know eating meat and potatoes and everything the whole time <laughs> so it's a little bit nice to do this instead when it's fresh that's right it's not pickled or anything like that no so okay. here we're gonna add a little bit of the fava beans one of the things I want people to remember on a normal basis is that salads aren't always greens they can be vegetables too so we have a little bit of a vinaigrette. Okay, so let's make the vinaigrette. I've got some made right here. But Perfect. What would go into the vinaigrette? We'll have a um, link on our website, kclive.tv, so folks at home can make the vinaigrette. Um, this is a little champagne vinegar. Okay. A little bit of olive oil. All right. A little bit of honey. And honey. That's an interesting well, add. Vinaigrette, you, you definitely want the vinegar and mm -hmm. the oil, and then you need a sweet component on it to make it sweet. And honey's you know, very healthy. Health, honey's very healthy. It's a lot right. better than, than white refined sugar. And there you go. So you just stir it up. You add a little bit of salt and some mm -hmm. pepper. Mm -hmm. And then you can, um, you can just dress your salad with it like this. Oh, and it smells great. I love that. It does really get you in the mood for oh, something absolutely. healthy. So right here we have a little bit of ripped, whipped ricotta mm -hmm. and a little bit of, uh, of uh, cream cheese. And then we're just going to essentially... Oh, looks beautiful. Michael, do you want to come in and join us? This looks great. This is why he's Still nominated for a huge award. I know, right? Brilliant. 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 It's no shrimp and grits. It's no shrimp and grits. <laughs> you know that's my favorite. So. I know, that's why. I was a little concerned that you weren't going to let ask me back <laughs> but on. But this is something that folks can certainly make at home. They can enjoy at home and, and not feel guilty for doing it. Right. Yeah, and well, here. And we finally have a, top it off. Yeah, we have a little okay. bit of sorrel and a little bit of greens, and there we go. And that is it. Oh. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you yeah, very congratulations, much. Chef. All right, Dig we'll in. see you tomorrow, everyone. Woo, here's a fork. Thank you. Yeah.